What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing another Manchester City transfer update. I am rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer transfer window so you guys can be kept up to date and in the loop with the latest Manchester City news first and fast on YouTube. So if you haven't already, do subscribe. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video. 500 likes once more is the like goal. And also, don't forget, most importantly, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. Let's crack on then with this transfer update. We've got plenty to get through, so we're going to start off with the outs and firstly just like to say a happy retirement to former Manchester City man Alexander Kolarov he did leave Manchester City to head over to Roma in Italy he's now retired at the age of 36 did play for Manchester City between 2010 to 2017 making 165 appearances for us in that time and I am wishing him all the very best on his retirement now moving on we do have an update on Liam Delap. Now, Sam Lee at The Athletic has said that Liam Delap will be loaned out by Manchester City this summer in search of regular first team football. The big question is where will he end up? Will he be a rotated player at a Premier League club? Will he be used as a regular uh, if he was to drop down a division and potentially go to the Championship? That is the question and I would have thought City would want some, uh, something sorting uh, ready for pre-season so he can have a pre-season at his loan club ready to kick on there uh, to show what he can do. But we will see. Now, we've also got an update on Nathan Ake. Firstly, congratulations. He's uh, got married over the summer break. So, a big congratulations to him and his partner. Good news. He's getting linked, though, with the exit door at Manchester City, which is a shame. Uh, CFC News page on Twitter has said that Thomas Tuchel, he's keen on Nathan Ake this summer. I have no doubt in my mind that this is due to the fact that he is homegrown by the club for their Champions League quota. He is also homegrown uh, as well, even though he's born uh, and plays for the Netherlands. Uh, he is classed as a homegrown player due to him being, well, obviously uh, rose through the academy at Chelsea uh, and been at Chelsea long enough and in England long enough for him to be classed as a homegrown player. I'll be honest, I'll take this with a pinch of salt. I'll be very, very surprised if Nathan Ake leaves Manchester City this summer. Now, moving on, we've got a massive update on Gabriel Jesus. So, the latest on him, Di Marzio in Italy has said that Arsenal, they are ready to do everything that they can to sign Jesus this summer. He does say that Spurs are also in the mix. They're interested. They want to sign him as well. But it's Arsenal that are doing everything right now to try and sign Gabi Jesus. Spurs hold the advantage of having Champions League football to offer, but it's Arsenal right now that want Jesus. Jonathan Smith at goal, he's a correspondent for Manchester City there, says that Gabriel Jesus to Arsenal is described as being close. He does say that the transfer could be completed in the coming days. Now, I'm not under the impression that this deal is that close. However, that doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes with the amount of rumours and everything going round. I am certain when I say that Arsenal have put some kind of offer into Manchester City for Gabriel Jesus. City are considering that uh, and as a, uh, and because of that, uh, Charles Watts at the goal is the correspondent for Arsenal has said that Gabriel Jesus' entourage right now are travelling from Brazil to England to try and force through a transfer for Gabriel Jesus to join Arsenal from Manchester City. There's no mention at all around a fee. We do know that City, combined with Jesus and Sterling, are looking to try and accumulate roughly around 90 to 100 million pounds for both of of these transfers. City looking for around £60 million pounds for Raheem Sterling. Uh, so we'll be looking at around 40, 45 million pound mark here for Gabriel Jesus. I imagine it would probably be around 30 to 35 million pound plus some uh, performance-based add-ons 
for this transfer. We'll see the direction that uh, City and Jesus and Arsenal go in, but things are warming up when it comes to this transfer. I will, of course, keep all my eyes and ears peeled on this, and I will keep you guys up to date with that. I have no doubt in my mind I will have another big update on Jesus in tomorrow's transfer update. Now, moving on, uh, Bernardo Silva had a little bit of clarification on his, uh, his potential exit from Manchester City, and despite the Spanish media getting very excited about uh, Bernardo Silva potentially joining Barcelona, Pep Guardiola has once more played this down. Bernardo Silva's not really spoken about it. Just like Nathan Ake, I'll be very, very surprised should Manchester City sell Bernardo Silva this summer. A lot of saying things hinge on Frankie de Jong being sold by Barcelona. The theme that Manchester City will be looking for, the wages and, and the whole package of that transfer is just going to be so, so expensive. The only way Bernardo leaves City is if he says to Manchester City, here's my transfer request. I want to leave to go to Barcelona. Make it happen and even then uh, I don't think the Frankie Dijon transfer United there after Dijon looking at around 60 to 70 million euros just isn't going to cut it to sign Bernardo Silva City looking between 80 to 100 million euros and that to me that's just scraping the barrel I personally would value Bernardo Silva even more City aren't in a position that they need to sell it's all about whether the player wants to force that but we'll see what happens with regards to that now moving on the Raheem Sterling latest. Rightio, following on from yesterday, De Marzio said Chelsea closing on signing Sterling £35 million. Not the case. However, Ben Ransom at Sky Sports has said the City are looking around £60 million mark for Raheem Sterling. £35 million is nowhere near enough to tempt Manchester City to sell Raheem Sterling in this window. The Athletic have said that Manchester City will not replace Raheem Sterling this summer, but with the news of Jesus and Raheem Sterling potentially leaving, that's two attackers. I've heard City's plan is to try and use Cole Palmer more out wide. It's a big ask to go from playing a few minutes here and there to all of a sudden having the responsibility of playing on that right-hand side. De Bruyne can help cover there. Phil Foden said he's happy to go on the right-hand side as well. Does mean a lot more minutes for Jack Grealish. He's got a massive second season and coming up here for Manchester City but we still look an attacker short even though we've brought in Alvarez and of course Erling Haaland as well we just look a little short and should both these first team players leave in Sterling and Jesus to me City should be looking at an attacker but I'm under the impression City won't be doing that in this window uh, and that could be something City even look at next winter or potentially next summer we know City's focus is to replace Fernandinho with a defensive midfielder and also looking at a fullback to potentially replace uh, what would be Benjamin Mendy and or Alexander Zinchenko as well. Now Gary Jacob at the time has said that Manchester City have spoken with Chelsea and they've told Chelsea you must pay £60 million to sign Raheem Sterling this summer. Jacob Steinberg of the Guardian has said that Chelsea they're going to up their efforts to try and sign Raheem Sterling over the next week or so. It's believed they're closing in on a deal to sell Romelu Lukaku to Inter Milan on a loan deal where Inter are going to be paying all of his wage plus around 10 to 15 million euros in a loan fee. Once that's been confirmed and sorted, Chelsea are going to move their focus to Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling is the player that they're looking at currently right now, not Usman Dembele of Barcelona. Chelsea, they've told Man City £35 million because uh, they've seen Sadio Mane set to join Bayern Munich for a similar fee of around £35 million and with him having one year left on his contract at Liverpool and Sterling having one year left on his contract at Manchester City, think that in terms of value, they're roughly around each other. The problem is Raheem Sterling is younger than Sadio Mane, he's obviously an England international, he's homegrown, he's a the Premier League premium included on this as well. To me, £60 million sounds about right. £35 million does not. And as I was saying before, City are looking for around 100 to €110 million. Euros. We're looking at around 90 to €100 million pounds for a combined sale of both Sterling, potentially to Chelsea, and Jesus, potentially to Arsenal. Uh, and that's what City are currently looking at. Apparently, I've heard rumours Chelsea did make an offer of around €25 million, Euros, plus some add-ons, which Manchester City have rejected for Raheem Sterling. But Chelsea, they're pushing and they're going to be putting in another bid 
pretty soon. Now moving on to the ins, got a quick couple of transfers, a couple of interesting ones, both come in terms of fullbacks. The first one, Kieran Tierney, new name for this summer, but not a new name to the JSGC transfer update. Now the Scotsman in Scotland, obviously, to state the obvious there, say that Kieran Tierney is on a list of potential left backs that Manchester City could look at. We know the focus is on Mark Kukurea. We know there might be complications when it comes to the fee. And City are identifying alternatives. We've already heard about Rayan Outnuri that we spoke about in yesterday's video. And Kieran Tierney is believed to be another. It looks like Manchester City are looking at Premier League left backs. They're looking for Premier League proven left backs that have been there, done that, worn the t-shirt, know what the league is about to bring them in for that experience. That's the reason we're getting linked with left backs from the Premier League. And I firmly believe if we do sign a left back this summer it will be a left back from the Premier League and not from abroad so there we go a cue all left backs uh, that play in the Premier League now being linked with Manchester City. Now, moving on to the final transfer is an update on Mark Kukurea. Now, Jacob Steinberg at The Guardian has also said that there is interest from Manchester City, Chelsea and Newcastle United in Mark Kukurea of Brighton and Hove Albion. However, Manchester City, they remain the player's preferred destination. Manchester City is still hoping to negotiate the price. City do believe £40 million will be enough to sign Kukurea we know Brighton looking for around £50 million. It's so all the case of will Brighton walk away, uh, will they say not walk away from their price and allow Manchester City to walk away instead? Or will they negotiate and look, City will look for some improvements? Add-ons could be very crucial when it comes to this transfer. We know that City are focusing on Kukurea right now. Things are pretty quiet on the Calvin Phillips front. Uh, and Manchester City, we do know, want to sell players first before signing players. And that seems to be the case with Raheem Sterling and Jesus really hotting up. Should they leave, I've got a feeling then City will look towards making an offer for Kukurea. So it could be a case that two first-team players in attack leave. We bring a defender in and we might focus on potentially bringing in an attacker if we want to later in the window or in another window do you agree with that or not though that's the question let me know in the comments below jesus sterling if they leave who do you want to replace them should it be done this window let me know your thoughts in the comments below also don't forget leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video 500 likes is the aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated subscribe if you're new around here press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on Aiming now for 30,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. I'm doing daily Manchester City transfer updates, so if you want to stay up to date on YouTube with the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast, make sure you have subscribed with that bell press to be notified immediately for when I do upload so you can stay up to date and in the loop. ASAP. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and I'll see you all again religiously tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.